Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another one. Let's quickly talk. Today I want to be trading live with you guys. So um, we're going to be doing that within the Discord. And I want to share the setup. So I just did a stream with everybody on the on the paid side or the private side. Let's rather use what is a private side. You can get in for free. You don't have to be paid to be into, uh, be a paid member to be in this group. And um, the setup was as follows. Let's get there. Let's maybe cut the tunes away because let's get serious real quick. It's real money. Leverage trading, you need to be you need to be uh, aware of the risk. You can lose money. It's not like spot where you can have something less valuable. Um, it's You can lose money. Okay, so the idea was simple. I wanted to look for an excuse to short the market, to short BTC, and, uh, and to point out some critical support and resistance levels. So... If you allow me a sip of water, let's quickly go through that uh, that thought. Now, as I was live with everybody, it started dumping, which is frustrating. And um, the reasoning behind this is there's a lot of liquidity sitting here between 63.9 and 63.4. So if we move back to this point, 63.9, 63.4, means that it can bring price all the way back down to this area here still. And it means that the short is probably not over. So I see the price is probably going to move back up to 64,000 and then sweep these lows. With the short term, prognosis is that we're going to be going to the upside. Now, how high, how crazy? Let's clean this and let me show you what I see. Oops, clean, 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 clean everything off. There we go. Let me show you what I see. Okay, so if I hit BTC on the on the four hour time frame. Let's take away all this. I'm gonna start with a clean, clean page with you guys. Okay. So this is Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. And um, th the idea is very simple. When we look at this, there's an upper end of the range and there's a lower end of the range. And uh, the lower end of the range is when we need to be bullish. The upper end of the range is where we need to be bearish we know this i've shared this with you guys but also what is interesting you'll find is somewhere in the middle there's an axis now the axis is when price kind of goes through a negotiation phase and those negotiations can sometimes really cost or become really expensive for most traders why because this is when trends don't really make sense the market you know, it just, it hurts a lot of people. So the most opinions coming to the market at around that time. Now, the way that you can identify this, the easiest way that you can identify this is to load an indicator called the visible range volume profile. So what it does is it, when you look at the, the upper end, the lower end, it tells you that that's where the most opinions are. So it's going to be the hardest there for a trend to find momentum and there's going to be a lot of limit orders there. And limit orders actually slow price down. So when we're in leverage trading, it's different to spot. I want to be in a market that's moving. The worst thing I want to be sitting in is somewhere where I take a position. And two, three hours later, I'm still at break even. That's where I don't want to be when it comes with leverage trading. Okay, so this is normally then the bad time. So I'm trying to take the following play. If the momentum on the four hour is clearly to the downside there's two critical momentum lines that we need to be aware of let's remove that two critical momentum lines that we need to be aware of the first one is obviously this now this is simple everybody can draw this uh, you don't need any any prior education to do this and so this puts it in context these lines are powerful they're valuable but they're also useless so you need to understand that the market will respect them until it doesn't. And if it breaks through a wave, normally what will happen is it will move on to the next one. So then you have an idea of where your next target will be and how price will move. Now, if we look at this wave, at some stage, price was moving really fast. And you can see there, there was a lot of people thinking that it's going to jump further, going to go lower. Nothing wrong with that, but what does it hap What happens when it breaks through? It goes to the next wave. So we already know if our short fails, where it's going to want to go to next. Also, what is important is what I like to see is when we're in a situation 
where we get to these waves, you'll find that you'll have an excuse. The excuse is in the form of hidden bearish divergence. It tells you that there's more, that trend isn't over. And the way that you're going to see hidden bearish divergence is you're going to have a lower low in price and a higher high in the RSI. So if that is the demand zone which created, we're fighting that hidden bear divergence. What does price want to do? Price, as always, is going to want to go to that 50% of the wick. So you now know where to go and look for your for your long. You need to hunt within that yellow line, within that range. Okay. Now, this is the four-hour analysis. So what's going to happen if we scale time up? It means this is the daily. So we can look at this as saying that this is the four-hour trend. This is the daily trend. So on the daily, what were we looking for? We're looking for price to do just that. So if we scale this to the daily time frame, what would be bearish, more bearish than price doing the following things? Break through that line at the later stage. I'm not saying it's going to do it now. Remember, we, we're just looking ahead to plan how we can be wrong or right, and then we execute both sides. Okay. So if price finds itself to this line, what will we have if the RSI has moved past that point? That same analysis again, hidden bearish divergence, which means that that's probably only the time that we're going to find that this is the buy zone, the real buy zone. Why? Because just like the tops, not all 72s were created equal. This one versus 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 that one. Which is the 72 you wanted to short? The market gave you one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven chances, but it's only the seventh one that really made the money because that's the one that never get tested again. That's the way it works. And the same with bottoms. All, not all prices are created equal. So what we're trying to do is understand that it's one thing to know that it's going to go back up. It's another thing to try and identify when and whether the downwards objective that takes us to our buy zone has completed its objective or the downwards price action has completed its objective. Okay, so a little bit of a rewind up into time. So now you know why I still believe that we could still go higher. And what am I looking for? Well, if this axis is where the trend is shifting at minimum, Let's now forget about what's happening above 68 and bull cycle and halving and news and any. At minimum, critical resistance has to be created. So critical support was lost. So now the market wants to find out of whether that is resistance at minimum. So that is why my swing objective is going to try and see whether I can trade the market to that point. But this now takes us back to the 15 minute, which started off with me talking about a short. So now you might be confused as hell, but I'll try and make it clear to you guys in, in, in the next few minutes. So going back to the four hour, you understand what happens if, if we're wrong, where can price go to? I've given you that scenario. So where we are now, if we're wrong, where's price going to go to? That scenario. So we know if we're wrong, to go long, because that's where we want to try and wait for the next one. We also know that what, what needs to happen with this within the 15 minute, in order for us to, to be invalidated, is that price needs to continue on making higher highs, higher lows. And this brings me to this little price action here. So if I switch this to a line tool, which makes it the easiest, you can see that why for a lot of people this was considered maybe a buy zone with a breakout. You've got hidden bullish divergence, where you had hidden bullish divergence up to that point, RSI going down, RSI is on the bullish side of things, and an and, and you had strong bearish divergence telling you that we may be not done trending down. Now, what do I say? There's a way that you need to favor these divergences. So on the four hour, what is our trend? It's down, so favor the bearish divergence. Okay. On the 15 minute, what is our trend? 
it just made a higher high. So this strong bearish divergence is turning this around, but it still does not mean that we've broken any, created any realistic trend here yet. So although we do have hidden bullish divergence on the 15 minute, there's no real trend at the moment to kind of rally or unite the traders behind it. So I want to see this thing go down first. And then from that point onwards, we can start trading this thing back up into higher time frames. So if it makes sense, guys, let me know in the comments. Let's see what we've got yet. It's a different time slot normally. Morning, Jaden. Morning, Jockey. Stanko, hello. Mr. DM for the graphic is here. Arpit Muhapra. I always destroy the names, but hello, buddy. Thanks for taking the time coming to join in live with me. Uh, I really help, hope that this is helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. Uh, Mr. Maximilian is here, Dave is here as well, and Ruben from Uruguay. Hello, Ruben. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's end up the stream because it doesn't need to be that long anymore. So you know what we what we want to be doing. So let's switch on the candles. Now I want to show you the simple rule, simple rule that I use for, for this. We know that we have a thou shall not cross line. I, I, I've, I've spoken about this line to death. But also what do we know is... On the 15 minute, let's just move this line in there. Because there's nothing here, I'm, I'm still looking for a trend there, like I just explained. The only trend that I can draw for the 15 minute is this one, and it's broken. So the 15 minute upwards momentum is broken. Now, what do we know? When this happens, price will most often times. First, go make a lower low to delete the hidden bullish divergence, to get the RSI here. Then it will find a reason to go between these two points for the continuation. So that's my job for today. Where are we at now? I can't do anything. Timing sometimes just sucks. As I went live more than an hour ago, this is where we were. We were sitting right there. <laughs> There's the video. You can actually click on it, load it. As we went live, this is the frustrating thing. There, that's where we were sitting, right there. And um, near the end, I was explaining to everybody how, how the market is, can be sometimes can be a little bit spiteful, and then it started running away. So as we were charting, I was actually saying 50-50 where it's at now, so let's wait a little bit further. And then it started dumping hard on us. So... That's just the nature of things, okay? But we're waiting for the setup now. So let's remove this. The setup is simple, guys. We've now broken the hidden bullish divergence. We're good to go. Now we want to wait for price to find its way between these two pivots. Then our TP1 will be this point where it's at now. Why? Because there's a demand zone being created. There's an excuse for people to go long here. 50% of the candle that makes the higher high, that's the buy. There's an excuse for people to go long here. I don't want to take this one due to the nature that we're trending down, okay? And then once this happens, I want to hit the short there. I want to try and trade to these points, this point, and even low to 61. And then, like I said, see if I can hunt along here because then... Hopefully, then we break out. Find ourselves there. And that would be a nice little long. Okay, there you have it, guys. Hello from Morocco. Hello, buddy. Hope you had an awesome, uh, awesome day so far. And uh, and I hope that the markets are going to ever print in our favor today. So uh, there's the game. There's the game. The goal. There's the game plan shared with you guys. 15 minutes time. And um, there you go. Rosario, I'm really happy that you're here as well. Hello, Dennis. Um, so yeah, share, share the content. I'll post the charts. And what you need to do is just head over to the, the link to the Discord in the video description. There's many ways that you can actually get access to this. There's still a few hours left on the Biber deal, like I've explained in yesterday's video. So go and see if you can get that and get yourself on board it. Because now what's going to happen is I'm going to go live with everybody in the trading group. My chart will be shared. Mike will be open. I'll be playing some guitar. 
And uh, we're going to wait for the right opportunity to smash that entries in. I want to see personally if I can get a, at least a 20 BTC short in this area. We've got about a $900 price difference within this area. 20 BTCs will make me a really good profit and will set me up for the month. So um, that's the goal. Uh, Bitcoin does give enough liquidity for that. Primes, that's why I trade on Prime. Their order books are deep. So there's very little slippage, meaning if you go 20 BTCs, you're not buying the price up, hurting yourself in that sense. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that's, the, that's the goal, guys. So see you there. And um, looking forward for um, uh, for prosperous Wednesday today. Uh, normal streams will continue on tomorrow. Then we'll be looking at some alt spots again. For now, um, nothing really to report there, guys. So don't try and try and time this thing too soon. You know, like I explained to you guys when we hit the sell zones, it takes time. So be patient. These things will go. Okay, uh, there you have it. Thanks. So you've got it covered. There's about 285 people live. Um, on all the various platforms. Hit the like, hit the retweet, hit the heart button wherever you're finding yourself on Twitch, YouTube, or Twitter. And um, head over to the Discord, guys. I'll be waiting for you. Cheers. And uh, <laughs> we're going to be hustling. We're not going to, as ever, keep hustling. Today, we will be hustling. Cheers, guys. I'll keep hustling. <laughs>